Memorial University is Newfoundland and Labrador's only university. It was established in 1925 as Memorial University College in memory of the young men from this province who died in the First World War. When Newfoundland joined Canada in 1949, one of the first pieces of legislation passed was the Memorial University Act, making the two-year college into a university offering full degree programs. This act set forth the unique governance of the university, designed to ensure its accountability and its autonomy. The university has a bicameral system of governance. This means that two bodies, a board of regents and a senate, oversee the administrative and the academic matters of the institution. The Board of Regents is charged with the management, administration, and control of the property, revenue, business, and affairs of the university. The Board, which is appointed by the provincial government and usually meets six times a year, is comprised largely of volunteers. The Chancellor, 17 members selected and appointed by government, including the Board Chair, six members elected from and by the alumni, four members nominated from and by student bodies, plus the President and Vice-Chancellor and the Provost, who is also the Vice President Academic, who are members by virtue of their positions. The Board has eight regular committees with student and employee representatives, senior university administrators and external experts, which consider a wide range of matters and make recommendations to the Board for decision. Audit and Risk, Campus Planning and Development, Executive, Finance, Governance, Human Relations, University Benefits, University Pensions. The Senate is responsible for academic matters. Its 89 members represent all academic units on all campuses, the libraries, student bodies, senior university administration, and the provincial government. With about 30 standing committees and councils that report to it, the Senate oversees such things as the development of new or revised academic programming, formulating academic regulations and handling appeals, and providing input into university planning and budget. The faculties and schools, as well as the university library system and the Marine Institute campus, each have an academic council reporting to Senate. The ongoing administration of the university is led by the President and the Provost, who sit on both the Board of Regents and the Senate. The President is recruited in a competitive process conducted by the Board of Regents. The President's responsibilities are largely governance and external relations. As the Chief Executive Officer, the President also serves as the University's Chief Spokesperson and is the final institutional authority on a wide range of matters. The Provost, who is also the Vice President Academic, oversees the intersection of academic and administrative matters. The senior leadership team of the University is the Vice President's Council. This team is chaired by the Provost and includes the Vice President Research, Vice President Grenfell Campus, Vice President Marine Institute, and Vice President Administration and Finance. This group is the decision-making body responsible for pan-university operations, for matters that cross over vice presidential portfolios, and for making recommendations to the President on matters within his or her sole authority. The University's 15 deans each report to a Vice President. The deans work with academic councils comprised of faculty, students, and administrators in the various schools, faculties, and campuses to ensure collaboration and transparency across the institution. The deans, along with senior administrators of the various campuses, comprise the Dean's Council. Chaired by the Provost, Dean's Council provides academic leadership to the University as well as strategic and policy advice to the Provost. While Memorial receives the majority of its operating funding from the provincial government via an annual operating grant, it is not a department or agency of the government. Its autonomy, as enshrined in the Memorial University Act, ensures the academic freedom of its faculty and protects its pursuit and sharing of knowledge free from external influence. Nevertheless, the university is accountable to the government and the people of the province for the public funds it spends. It provides detailed financial and activity reports to government and other stakeholders. This reporting, combined with the governance provisions we've just explored, ensure that Memorial University is a wise steward of resources.